good opportunity today, uh, again, to uh, remind ourselves that uh, Europe cannot look, look or give an impression of fatigue uh, when the war in Ukraine uh, has not ended. Uh, we cannot get tired uh, imposing sanctions. We cannot get tired offering assistance and help uh, to Ukraine. We have to take very seriously uh, Ukraine's uh, request to uh, start a uh, candidacy process uh, to EU. And there is, there is this feeling in the room that we, uh, we would like to, uh, to sit down and take a breath uh, because the first uh, three or even four weeks have been incredibly difficult, uh, not, not to Ukraine, but uh, to Europeans. And I think it's a, a very bad message to, uh, to those who are actually fighting in Ukraine. So you're talking about new sanctions. What kind of new sanctions? I think it is unavoidable to start talking about the energy sector. And uh, we definitely can talk about, uh, about oil because uh, it is the biggest revenue to uh, to Russian uh, Russian budget and uh, also it's quite easily replaceable because of our infrastructure and multiple suppliers existent. Russia is now using hypersonic weapons. Uh, how should you react to that? I think it's a question to the whole uh, to the whole global alliance, uh, let's say, uh, the alliance who was supportive of sanctions and the whole attitude towards towards Russia. We have to start discussing about the red lights. Are there any? and what would be the red line for, uh, for the West, for all of us. Uh, now we're seeing shelling of uh, civilian uh, cities, we're seeing uh, thousands of civilians dead. Obviously, it's still not a red line, but somewhere there, there has to be one. Where's your red line? Well, mine has been already, but uh, I'm a part of a, of a global alliance where we are seeking a consensus. Therefore, I'm one voice saying that this is our war. And if, uh, if, if we lose it, that's it, it's on us. I think that we have to tell Russians that we are very serious about, uh, about their actions. And it's not just that we are allowing everything to go, go on as Putin has planned. Well, I think that the uh, German public is doing uh, a lot of convincing. Uh, to uh, the German government and uh, so far they have been quite successful on that. I hope that they will continue.